One year ago today, Knoxville police shot and killed Anthony Thompson Jr. That 17 year old was in a bathroom at Austin East High School. Police shot him after the nine millimeter pistol he had in his hoodie went off while they tried to arrest him. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan joins us to break down the very latest on the investigations into this police shooting. Cole. John, today the Thompson family's lawyer tells me the family planned a graveside celebration of life for Anthony. This week, his mother filed a lawsuit against the city and Knoxville police. Investigations continue into the minutes after these officers entered Austin East High School. An 11 second confrontation in the bathroom led them to shoot and kill student Anthony Thompson Jr. and wound a fellow officer. It was just very chilling. Um, first of all, to hear we have an officer down, and secondly, that it was at a school. The day it happened, the TBI took over the investigation. Within a week, agents submitted their findings to District Attorney General Sharm Allen. I have made a promise and a commitment to this community that once I completed the file and once I talked to the family, I would release these tapes. I'm going to stand on my word and I'm going to release these tapes. She cleared the officers, saying they feared for their lives after Thompson's gun fired. It's not clear and may never be clear who caused the weapon to go off. Within weeks, prosecutors accused a then 21-year-old of supplying Thompson with the gun. Kelvin Foster intends to plead guilty in federal court. In the shooting aftermath, Mayor India Kincannon announced she would pull KPD officers from schools. The way her dates are, we would have no police force in our schools starting with the school year. After backlash, the mayor opted to sign a new agreement to keep them. It's been very emotional uh, for us. This week, Thompson's mom sued, saying officers broke protocol and failed to help her son. We need to get to the heart of what happened to Anthony. The lawsuit says Thompson's mother took out a loan to pay for his funeral. He still doesn't have a headstone. The KPD internal affairs investigation is ongoing, and Knox County Schools says it cannot provide us with its internal review yet. As for the officers, all four of them are now back on the job. Some have been promoted. Others have switched divisions. Officer Wilson, who was wounded in the shooting, spent a week in the hospital and now works in the KPD training unit. Robin John Cole Sullivan with the very latest just ahead at 530. We hear from community leaders about the changes they've seen since the death of that teenager. We will tell you more about their response to this case and much more about what they'd like to see change.